Hey boo, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about how to set better boundaries with social media as a business owner. We all know that as a business owner you got to be on social media. Well, you don't have to but for the majority of us we're going to be marketing our businesses on social media and so I just want to share a few things to help you kind of set better boundaries with social media because I recognize that especially as moms and well it's not even just as a mom in general people are over social media but as a business owner we recognize the benefits of being on social media right it's free we can market our businesses there you can reach so many more people and so there are so many benefits to being on social media but it can be taxing right it can be overwhelming it can seem like a lot of work to have to create content and then you're scrolling to keep up with the trends and do all these different things and so today i just want to share a few things that i do to set better boundaries with social media so the first thing that really helped me when it came to social media is to turn off notifications a couple of years ago there was this really big thing where everyone was like turn on post notifications because we wanted to be seen more by the algorithm but something that has happened recently on instagram is that now you can create um a new basically feed of, of curated people called your um so you can curate a list of people that you really want to keep up with called your favorites and this is a really cool feature because now instead of turning on post notifications to keep up with your favorite people you can put them in your favorites tab and now whenever you open up the app you can go to your favorites and you can see a curated list of people that you want to see and this will allow you to turn off your notifications so that you're not overwhelmed with constant notifications all day because for one Nobody has time to be sitting down and going and looking at every single everybody's posts every single time they post. But two, it just kind of keeps you from having so many notifications on your phone because as you know, there's a lot of notifications on these social media apps. And so something else that I do is that I will go through and make sure that I turn off anything that is not a comment. Um, I usually don't turn off my notifications for comments or DMs. Unless I have a post that kind of goes mini viral and then in that case, I will turn off like my notifications for comments just because that can be really overwhelming. But for the most part, all my notifications for all my social media apps are turned off. I will leave on the DMs because I use DMs as my strategy in order to sign clients. So I do leave those open and it's not like I get hundreds of dms right now where it's too overwhelming for me to get those notifications but for the most part all my notifications are turned off and that's been a great way for me to kind of set a better boundary and separate myself from always being tied to social media so the second boundary that i created with social media is to create a schedule so i have set hours that i plan to actually go on the app and you know scroll do research all the things right engage with my favorite people but then also i have a schedule in terms of when i'm actually posting on social media so i allow myself to post monday through friday i try to be pretty consistent with posting monday through friday but then on the weekends i take the weekends off and that gives me a little bit of a break to one not consume as much but to not feel the pressure to post all the time i know that like right now and it, it changes all the time but i know sometimes like on social media especially on instagram they're like you know post every single day and here's like the whole strategy and i even think i've done a video talking about that but one thing that i've realized is that as a business owner the way that we're using social media is going to be completely different from the way maybe a content creator will use it or an influencer right and so as a business owner we can set different boundaries and we can set different a different schedule for how we're actually using the platform and it has to be something that works for you and so for me i just like to have monday through friday and then weekends are off and that just kind of frees me from feeling like i have to post stories every single day or if i do post stories on the weekend they're usually a lot more personal in nature because i'm not feeling like oh this has to be like a business post because this is a business account right so that is my second boundary that i've set with social media my third boundary is that i no longer subscribe to trends and what i mean by this is on social media especially tiktok instagram there are certain trends that happen and these things pop up and you feel so stressed to like oh i need to make sure i follow this trend or i need to make sure that i use this trending audio or whatever I'm done. I'm done with that. Now I no longer follow trends and instead I focus on what is my brand's core message? What is a core message or what is a core theme that I want to articulate to my social media audience? And that's where I focus my energy. And that was a huge boundary that once I set that, once I set the boundary of I'm not going to worry about trends, it made being on social media so much more fun and easier because a lot of times if you really think about it, when you see a trend, you have to figure out, okay, how can I apply this to my brand versus how can I make the platform 
work for me right and that's what really matters again as business owners we're using social media in a different way and so we want to come to social media with a really smart strategy and the smartest strategy is not always picking the viral or most trendy reels or tiktok videos or whatever to create because a lot of times those things will bring in followers but not people that are actually interested in your business it, it, it doesn't always bring people that are high converting now there's nothing wrong because one thing i will say is that there's nothing wrong with having a lot of followers and growing your following or getting more engagement if that's what you really desire but when you're thinking about okay my business is trying to make money x y and z sometimes it's not the best strategy to try to always seek and go after those trends and viral videos and so a boundary that I really set with myself is I always focus first on my evergreen content my content that I am consistently putting out that is really dependent on my core message and then once I have my staple content content created once I have my consistent content created and then I will consider hopping on different trends and things like that if I feel like it but I don't make trends my first strategy and that was how I was able to create a better boundary with social media my fourth thing is that I set hours to research now we all know that sometimes we'll get on Instagram or we'll get on TikTok and we will just scroll 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 and we claim that we're doing research at least that's what I claim I claim that I am doing research that I'm you know looking up ideas and I'm you know sourcing to see what other people are doing or looking for trends and stuff like that and I realized that I was spending a lot a lot of time actually researching so now a boundary that I've set is that I have set hours for research and what I and it's not necessarily hours but like maybe two or three days a week I will set a timer for about 15 maybe 30 minutes at the most to scroll and it's not a mindless scroll it's a very intentional scroll because when I'm scrolling I'm listening for like okay what are some trending audios that are coming up now I know I just mentioned that I don't focus on trends and I really don't but a lot of times if you use a trending audio you can still talk about whatever you want to talk about but now your account gets more reach because you're using audio that's trending so for me there's a difference between hopping on the trends like doing the different dances and all the different you know whatever they have going on versus using the tools and features so that you can improve and increase your reach so it's kind of two different concepts but i will give myself about 15 to 30 minutes three days a week to scroll to sit down and save and figure out okay this is the type of content i want to create for the next couple of weeks or you know these are the things that are happening in my industry that i really want to keep up with and know about and it allows me to not spend so much time scrolling on that app every time I open it and so when I started setting research hours I realized that the time that I spent on social media actually went down because for me I'm a mindless scroller so I'm the type of person that I will open up the app and I will just scroll and scroll and scroll because I'm having a good time and in the back of my head I'm saving things I'm writing down ideas but really I'm wasting a lot of time because I'm not on the platform to you know engage or do anything that's relevant to my business and so I had to cut out the mindless scroll and the only way I could do that was setting a timer for myself so I have this timer set now and I really have cut back a lot on my scroll time but I've, I've actually been able to be more self-inspired versus being inspired by everyone else's content which has been super super helpful for me in this season and the last thing that I've done to set better boundaries with social media is to create or set like a downtime so in my iPhone I don't know how it works for Androids but in my iPhone I can set downtime on my on certain apps that I'm using and so for me every single day I set a period of about three hours where I have downtime so even if I wanted to I couldn't open up the apps now granted I can override it but I don't right? I try really hard not to override it and this is kind of like a twofold tip because I set downtime which basically allows you to not access the app but then I also set time limits on each app so for Instagram for example I give myself two hours a day on Instagram for Facebook I give myself one hour and then for TikTok I give myself one hour and so after the time is up I'm not able to get on those apps and that has been super super helpful because remember i'm a mindless scroller like i love to just scroll and see what everybody else is doing and be a part of just whatever's happening on social media but i realized that that was really unhealthy and my screen time was through the roof because every time i'm sitting down doing you know whatever i'm doing maybe i'm breastfeeding or just like hanging out or just you know maybe i'm in the car right but maybe today's driving i'm in the car i will just open my app and scroll and 
I really wanted to break away from doing that, especially as a business owner, because obviously a lot of the people that I follow, they're also business owners. So it was just like a lot of business, 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 business. Like I wasn't really thinking about anything else and that just was not okay for me. So I set time limits and then I also created a downtime schedule so now there's three hours a day where I can't even access social media which really helped for my nighttime mindless scroll because at night once the kids are down I'm just like ah, TikTok me um, and so I had to create like a little buffer somewhere where I wouldn't just wake up and immediately start scrolling or when the kids went to bed I didn't just jump onto my phone so I set those downtime limits and then um, and I also set a downtime limit around dinner time because I didn't want to have my phone during dinner and so by not having access to Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, I was able to actually focus during dinner. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's so easy, especially when the kids are smaller and they're not talking yet, to just like scroll while we're eating. But I really wanted to not have that habit. So I set those downtime limits. And then also I set limits with every single app. So each app I have has a a time limit of how long I can be out there. Now, again, there have been days where I'll snooze it and I'll be like, eh, I'm just gonna spend a little bit more time on TikTok today. That does happen. But for the most part, I've really gotten really good at if the limit pops up, right? Once I hit that hour, once I hit that two hour mark, I'm done with social media for the day. And, um, you know, the only reason why I will override it now, for the most part, there are some days where I'm like, I want to be on here. Um, but for the most part, the only reason why I will ever override the you know boundary the time limit or whatever is if i need to post like if i have to actually post something then i will do that or if i am already engaging in a sales conversation with someone maybe in the dms then that will also be another reason why i will override my limits because obviously i want to continue the conversation with that person so those are the boundaries that i've set as a business owner when it comes to social media these have just been a few things that have helped me in this season just really like not spend so much time tied to these apps because it's so easy to just be on these apps all the time it's so easy but i have really figured out a way to just kind of back up a little bit look at the bigger picture and not focus as much on being so present on the apps and instead really be present in my regular life um i guess a bonus tip that i do want to say is that something else that has worked for me with setting boundaries is to schedule out my content when i started scheduling out my content which i've always scheduled content but sometimes like we will think that we're scheduling things but really we're just coming up with ideas right we're coming up with ideas but we're not really like batch creating our content so when i started really being intentional about batching my content and then actually scheduling it that also helped me spend less time on the on the platforms because i could sit down like right now and batch out and create you know four TikToks or four reels. And then now I don't have to get on the app every single day to create content, create content, create content. Because when you think about it, if you sit down and spend two hours creating content versus spending an hour every single day on the apps, creating a reel, creating a video, creating whatever, like you're just saving so much more time. And I realized that for me, the hardest part was waking up every day and knowing, oh, I got to create a reel. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Like that was, that was too much. And it was having me on the apps much longer versus if at the beginning of the week I thought to myself okay what are the four reels I want to make this week here they are I'm gonna spend two hours doing it and now I don't have to get on the app every single day this week in order to grow my business or work on my business so that's like a bonus tip that I literally just thought of but yes so those are the things that I do to set better boundaries for social media I hope that was able to encourage you and help you if you have anything that you do to help you kind of set better boundaries on social media as a business owner comment them below I would love to see it and until next time I'll talk to you later darling so that is recorded and